Isang magandang araw mga mag-aaral. Ngayon, we will study how to graph quadratic functions in standard form. Pero bago natin simulan, joke time muna tayo. Eto na. Meron mag si Grace at saka si Mario. Matagal na silang mag -jowa. Meron na nga mahigit limang taon. Pero dumating sa punto na si Grace ay parang nawala na ang pagmamahal kay Mario. Kaya kinumpronta niya ito. Sabi niya kay Mario, Mario, hindi ko na kaya. Iiwan na kita. Nawala na ang pagmamahal ko sa'yo. Sumagot si Mario. Ang sabi ni Mario, Huwag mahal. Hindi ko kaya. Huwag mo akong iiwan. Pag iniwan mo ako, maglalaslas ako. Natawa si Grace. Sabi ni Grace, Maglalaslas? Magpatuli nga. Hindi mo kaya. Maglaslas pa? Oo. Oh. Okay, that's it. Uh, ngayon, punta na tayo sa ating uh, lesson. Graphing quadratic functions in standard form. Bago natin simulan yan, mag-review muna tayo ng konti. About the linear function and the quadratic function. We learned that the linear function is a function if it is of the first degree. But if it is of the second degree, it is a quadratic function. And the standard form for a quadratic function is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to zero. Okay, let us have an example. Plot the graph of the function specified by y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. This quadratic function is of the second degree. Second degree because the highest exponent in this equation is squared. Mapapansin nyo, x squared plus 2x plus 1, the exponent is 2. In short, this equation is of the second degree and this is a quadratic function. But before we graph this, let us first determine the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is negative b over 2a. Alamin natin kung ano yung axis of symmetry from this given function. Balikan natin yung ating uh, standard form. The standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c. The numerical coefficient of x squared here is 1. Kapag wala siyang nakalagay na 1, na, pag wala siyang nakalagay, understood that the coefficient is 1. So, ito ang ating ax squared. In short, a is equal to 1 kasi wala siyang nakalagay. This is our bx. b, b is equal to 2. Alright, if A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, what is negative B over 2A? Negative B is negative 2 over 2 times the value of A is 1 is equal to negative 2 over 2 times 1 is equal to 2. In short, negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. The axis of symmetry now is negative 1. We can now plot the graph of this quadratic function. Before we graph this function, let us have a brief review on the Cartesian plane. Uh, this is a Cartesian plane or the Rectangular Coordinate System. This is introduced by René Descartes. Actually, yung Descartes niya, ang spelling ay D-E-S-C-A-R-T-E-S. -E -E Kung babasahin natin, Descartes, René. But actually, this is pronounced as René Descartes. Ano? René Descartes introduced the rectangular plane or the coordinate system. In the coordinate system, we have the x-axis and 
the y axis. The y axis is also called the ordinate and the x axis is the abscissa. In the x axis at saka y axis, this is their intersection. Ito ang basis natin to determine the positive and negative integers. Dito tayo sa x-axis. Since this is the point of origin, lahat ng numero sa kanan niya ay positive. O this is positive 1, 2, 3, and 4. Lahat ng nasa kali kaliwa mula dito sa point of origin is negative numbers. So this is negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4. Dito naman sa y-axis, lahat ng numero na nasa itaas ng intersection ay positive. Dito naman sa ibaba, lahat ay negative. Sa ibaba ng y-axis, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, pwede nating dagdaga, negative 4, negative 5. O ngayon, paano natin ipaplat, ipaplat ang ating quadratic equation na x squared plus 2x plus 1? O kanina, ang nakuha nating axis of symmetry ay negative 1. Ngayon, using this quadratic function, isasubstitute natin ang value ng x dito sa negative 1. O negative 1 squared, dito tayo magsisimula sa quadratic function, negative 1 is x, ayan, x ano, negative 1 squared plus 2x, ang x natin, ayan, ang x natin ay negative 1 plus 1. O negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So, positive 1 yan. Plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus, kopyahin ang 1. O 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 is 0. Therefore, y is equal to 0 when x is negative 1. Oh, how about if x is negative 2? If x is negative 2, this will be negative 2 squared plus 2 times x is negative 2 plus 1. Uh, negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 plus 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus kopyahin ang 1. O 4 plus negative 4 is 0 plus 1 is 1. When x is negative 2, y is 1. How about if x is negative 3? O by substitution ulit, x squared, x is negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 plus 1. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 plus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 1. 9 plus negative 6 is 3 plus 1 is 4. Y is 4 when x is negative 3. Uh, what about if x is negative 4? A uh, negative 4 is squared from the quadratic function x squared. x is negative 4 and this will be negative 4 squared plus 2 times x. Our x is negative 4 plus 1. Negative 4 squared is positive 16. Plus 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 plus 1. 16 plus negative 8 is 8 plus 1 is 9. When x is equal to negative 4, y is 9. O dito naman tayo sa pababa, positive naman. What is the value of y when x is positive 1? O, positive 1 yung x natin, kaya siya ay 1 squared 
plus 2x, 2 times 1, plus 1. Or 1 squared is 1, plus 2 times 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4. When x is 1, y is 4. How about when x is equal to 2? Uh, this will be 2 squared plus 2x, 2 times 2 plus constant na 1. 2 squared is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is equal to 9. Uh, how about if x is 3? Uh, 3 squared, 3 squared plus 2 times x which is 3 plus 1. 3 squared is 9 plus 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1. 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 6 is 16. Okay, we will now plot, we can now plot the graph of this quadratic function. O, tandaan natin ha, ang ating axis of symmetry is negative 1. When x is negative 1, y is 0. So, ang point natin ay nasa negative, ang point natin ay nasa x. Since, since x is negative 1, y is 0, o 0 yung y, ayun yung y, and x is negative 1. Ayun ang ating negative 1. Uh, Ito point natin, ano? tandaan natin. Uh, next, this one. When x is negative 2, y is 1. x is negative 2, here is our negative 2, and y is 1. Negative 2, 1, uh, this is now the point. Negative 2 and 1. Susunod. Negative 3 and 4. X, X is negative 3. Y is positive 4. Ito yung X natin. This is negative 3. And Y is positive 4. Pagsalubungin natin yung dalawa na yan. Negative 3 sa X. Positive 4 sa Y. And this is that point. O, susunod. Negative 4 ang X. Positive 9 ang Y. When x is negative 4, ito yung negative 4 sa x, sa y, here is positive 9. O, pagduktungin natin yan, ayan siya, this point is negative 4, positive 9. Negative 4, positive 9, this is that point. O, dito naman tayo sa ibaba ng axis of symmetry. When, y is, when x is equal to 1, y is 4. x daw ay 1, ito ang 1, at yung y natin ay 4. Ito ang 4 sa y, ito naman ang positive 1 sa x. Pagduktungin natin yung dalawa na yan, and this is now the point. Yan. Susunod. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 9. X is 2. Ito yung 2 sa X. And, ito yung Y. O, ito yung 9 sa Y. Pagduktungin natin. And, this is the point. This point is 2, 9. 2, 9. O, susunod, last. When X is equal to 3, Y is equal to 16. O, positive 3. Y, 16. Siguro, andito na sa itaas, ano? Huwag na nating sundan, masyado mataas. Ngayon, pagduktong-duktongin natin yung mga points na nakuha natin. This is one. This is another one. This is another one. And, this is another one, yung ating axis of symmetry. Pagduktongin na natin yung lahat ng points. Ayan, ha? Hmm. Ayan. Uh, tapos dito, here is the point. Ayun, ayun. Tuloy natin, ayun yung positive 2, positive 9. Ngayon, ano ang graph na lumabas? Uh, this is a parabola. Ano? Makikita natin na ang ating axis of symmetry is negative 1. 
Ano ba talaga ang ibig sabihin ng axis of symmetry? I have here a physical representation. Assuming this is a parabola. Hindi lahat na ito parabola. Ano? Yung nakikita nyong itim na guhit na yan na curve, yan ang ating parabola. This is a set of ordered pair of points. Ngayon, ito kasi kapag ka hinati nyo sa gitna at ifinold natin, ano? pantay na pantay siya. So, yung pinakagitna niya, this one, this is the axis of symmetry wherein this is negative 1, yung nakuha natin kanina. This is negative 1 and the axis of symmetry is the y-axis. Yung patayo natin kanina, y-axis. At ito, this is what we call the vertex of, itong point nato dito, the vertex of the parabola. O ngayon, Balikan ulit natin yung nakuha nating uh, graph kanina na parabola. Uh, konting kaalaman lang din, additional kaalaman. Yung nakuha natin na 2, 9, lahat na yan, ordered pair. Ano? Ito yung 2, 9, 3, 16, 1, 4, negative 1, 0, etc. This is what we call the ordered pair of points X, Y. Hindi natin siya pwedeng pagbalikta rin na 16, 3. Laging nauuna ang X, susunod ang Y sa ating ordered pair of points. So, ang pagpa-plot ng graph, dapat laging nauuna ang X sa ordered pair of points. Katulad nung ginawa natin dito, in plotting the graph of a quadratic function. Ayan, hanggang dito na lang muna tayo at uh, siguro maliwanag na how to plot Of the graph of a quadratic function. O, sa susunod, magkita-kita po muli tayo at uh, bago tayo magwakas, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below, like and make comments and share. Ayun po. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Bye-bye!